so we have the probability mass function of this random variable x and let's assume that this random variable x can take the value 1 2 3 4 and also let's assume that this random variable x is a uniform random variable that means random variable x will take the value 1 with the probability 1 divided by 4 and random variable will take the value x is equals to 2 with the probability 1 divided by 4 and it will be same for all the numbers that this random variable can take if I ask you or let me give you one evidence or maybe a condition let's say if I told you that event A has occurred event A has occurred and you will ask me that what is this event A right because I have not defined yet that what is this event A let me give you that info also so this event A is such that that random variable x is taking the value that is greater than or equals to 2 so you have some prior belief or you can say you have some prior probability mass function now I am saying that this event A has occurred if I ask you what will be the revised PMF or the probability mass function if I am saying that event A has occurred then what I am saying that random variable X will take the value 2 or maybe 3 or maybe 4 with this given info if I told you that random variable is taking the value 1 is this correct no random variable cannot take the value as per the how we have defined the event A if I am saying that this given this evidence or given this condition then the revised model or the conditional model the PMF will be like this let me first of all draw this so this random variable x now can take the value 2 or 3 or maybe 4 right because if we have been told that event A has occurred that that means x is going to take the value that will be greater than or equals to 2 so x can take the value 2 or maybe 3 or maybe 4 how we can denote the probability mass function here so what we write here we write so here in this PMF we are talking about the random variable x that is why I have written here x here also we are talking about this random variable x but not only x we are talking about the random variable x but with some given evidence or the condition so we are talking about this random variable x given that event A has occurred or we can say like this we are talking about the random variable x given the evidence A so now random variable can take here in the revised model or in the conditional model or in conditional probability mass function here random variable x given this condition a can take the value 2 or maybe 3 or maybe 4 right what will be the probability that random variable x will take the value random variable x will take the value 2 with this given condition a so we have these possibilities that random variable can take those value and uh, so all these are uniform 
and we have the three possibilities that random variable can take the values in the conditional model so each will have the probability that is 1 divided by 3 so this is what the conditional PMF right so the idea behind the conditioning is same that what we have learned in the basic probabilities earlier we were talking in the basic probabilities in the conditioning model we were talking about the condition directly onto the outcome now we have some mapping that we are calling it as a random variable and now we are talking same thing in terms of the probability mass function or you can say in terms of the random variables right but the idea is going to remain same that what we have learned in the basic so if you are not getting all these points then I would recommend to just go through my lectures on the conditional probabilities that is the first point <laughs> now so this is the conditional model or you can say revised model so let me write down that one also conditional model right given some evidence let's back to our ordinary probability mass function if I ask you what will be the expected value of this random variable x so this is a uniform random variable by just looking at the probability mass function by symmetry you can say that the expected value or the mean will be some uh, mean will be at the point 2.5 or maybe even you can make use of the definition and you can find the expected value that is nothing but the sum over all the values that random variable can take times their corresponding probabilities right so that will be 1 divided by 4 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and if you calculate what you will get is 2.5 same con same question can be asked in the conditional model also right let's suppose we have this PMF and now someone told me that event A has occurred now you have been asked this question that what will be the expected value of this random variable x given this evidence or this condition a or this event a has occurred then someone is asking that what will be the expected value of this random variable x right so this is n this is what we this is what we call is the conditional expectation so you can just look at the revised model or the conditional PMF and you can answer this question right so if you have to write the general definition of this conditional expectation how you can write so again from the basic what we are going to do we are going to sum over all the random variable that random variable value that it can take right times the probability it will be the conditional PMF or the conditional probabilities right so by looking at the graph even from the symmetry you can say that since this is a uniform random variable that the expected value will be 3 right even you can calculate so that will be 1 divided by 3 times 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is 9 divided by 3 that is 3 right now coming back to our ordinary probability mass function and if you try to find here the variance of this random variable x what will be the variance of this random variable x 
so we have seen from our last video that how to find the expect uh, sorry variance of a uniform random variable right so we can make use of the formula that is 1 divided by 12 so 4 minus 1 times 4 minus 1 plus 2 right so if you have not already gone through my videos i would recommend go through that video so here it will be 5 so that will be 7.5 same question can be asked in the conditional model right but the notation would be some what some some uh, there will be some different because we just have to consider this uh, the given evidence or the given condition right so what question we can ask the conditional variance right what will be the variance of this random variable x in the conditional model given this evidence a right so uh, you can make use of again this is again the uniform distribution you can directly make use of the definition uh, formula right and you can directly find the variance of this conditional variance right or the variance of this random variable x given this condition a or you can even make use of the definition of variance so what does definition of variance says that you have to just go over all the possibilities that random variable can take the value and you just need to find the square distance from the mean right times their respective probabilities right so you can just find the variance of any way uh, you uh, you like right so here random variable can take the value 2 and the mean is 3 square with the probability 1 divided by 3 plus random variable can take the value 3 minus mean is 3 times 1 divided by 3 plus random variable can take the value 4 minus mean is 3 times 1 divided by 3 and square is will be there right so here we will have 1 by 3 plus 0 plus 1 by 3 so what we will get is 2 by 3 now you must have idea about what is conditional PMF and what is conditional expectation and uh, what is conditional variance so there is one mistake so i wrote here 2 but it will be 12 and if you carry out the further calculation you will get 5 divided by 4 so to conclude there is nothing really different when we deal with the conditional probability mass function conditional expectation and conditional variances they are just like the ordinary probability mass function expectation and variances except that we have to use the conditional probabilities throughout instead of the original probability so you have this probability mass function and if someone told you or someone gives you the evidence or some event has occurred based on that you have to revise your model or you have to get the conditional probability mass function and once you have the conditional probability mass function you can think this as a conditional world and in this conditional world you have the probability mass function and you can just carry out how you used to do to find the expectation and the variance in case of the ordinary cases